We nearly done. No, not yet. Give me a sec, mate. I want to drink this. Hurry up. We only got all day and I got meat rush. You know I have. I know, but we've done two bloody trips already. Let me just sit for five and have this tea, man. Christ. Uh, all right, then. Bloody old cheeky bugger today, aren't you? You? No, I just think... Stop rushing me. I've just sat down with this brew. You've got yours there. Go and have yours. I, I am. I'm bloody well. Don't worry about it. I'm just saying. I know what you're like. You're bloody dawdle. Bloody dawdling, the lazy eye borrower. Perfectly dawdles here, dawdles there. You, you don't do no, you don't, unless someone's bloody got a whip behind you. <laughs> That's not true. Anyway, shut up. <laughs> you asked me a question. Well, well, just bloody drink that and hurry up. We've got to go. You know we have. Got to take the last load of them pigs and got to go meet Ross. Yeah, all right, um. So that's Dave with the weather update. Thank you, Dave, for that. Oh, that's very interesting. Looks like we've got a big storm on the way then. So, everyone listening, keep your eye out for Storm Nicholas. Did you hear that? I heard something. What's he say? Use your bloody ears. What I'll give him you for. I didn't have him just so you can turn him off. <laughs> what did he say? Storm Nicholas. Oh, yeah. I've been reading up on that, mate. It's supposed to be bad. When is it coming? A couple of days. Bloody hell. What do you think? Do you think it's going to be like worth you know, noticing or do you think it's an overreaction? Well, I don't know. I don't know. We've had a few storms, haven't we? Not really here, though. It did it calms. We had that bad snow and yeah, we did have that storm that time, didn't we? Well, bloody hell, flooding and everything. Do you remember how it flooded down his house? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Oh, well, made me laugh at first, but we went to help him out, didn't we, in the end? Yeah, we did. Well, I don't know, we'll keep an eye on it, to be honest. Bloody sunny now. Don't look like we got a storm coming, but, you know, a couple of days away, you never know what could happen. It could all bloody turn out for the worst, couldn't it, at that point? Yeah, that's true. Oh, I hope it's nothing bad. Is there anywhere you think in particular we should check out on the farm? Uh, well, I want to make sure all the animals will probably pen them into the actual shed, the cows. Don't want them going up to that yard bit if we got some, some wind and... Maybe rain, shut everything up, make sure everything's fine, like that, you know. Yeah, just secure everything down, really. That's all you can do, in it. Well, I'll see. Don't think we had any major rain before. Might be a bit of flooding somewhere, but time will tell. Ah, true that, George. Right, are you, are you done? Uh, yes, I'm done. But yeah, I'll buy it. Come on, then. Well, we got to get it done, mate. I've got to... It's bloody busy, mate. Busy day. You've got bloody plenty do. I know I have. I know, I know. I'm ready. Come on. Well, I'm behind you. Can you shut your door? No, I aren't a bloody shutting door. Why would I do that? Told you. Sunny day. Nice outside. All right, then. Right, what's the plan? The plan is to take the last load. All right, and well, the trailer's up there. Well, I know. Just get him in. Where are we actually going to meet Ross? Are we going to his? No, no, no. I'll show you on the way. You'll be right. Come on. Have you sighed on that seed here? What? Is that what we're doing? You're paying him? Well, I'll pay him for him, haven't it? Good on you. It's not a bad seed, George. It'll do the job, that will. It's fine, that is. Well, I'll reap then, I'll reap. Come on, anyway, come on. Stop laughing. <laughs> you can help me now. Well, I'll bloody help you if it means you can get a move on. Listen, I don't know what make him wait. If he's waiting for me there, he's going to be proper annoyed with me. You told me that doesn't bother you. Oh, well, it does this time. Come on. All right, then. Are we ready? Yeah, mate. Just let me shut this. All right. Right, ready. Where are we going? Uh, well, we may as well go drop these pigs off first. All right, let's go do that, then. Fair amount you're taking again, George. Think you'll get a good, good whap for this? Well, I should get something good for this, yeah. Bloody hell, we're taking a few again, you know. I told you, sausages and all the meat we're producing recently is paying well. It's paying really well, in fact. I'm, I'm very lucky, I feel. <laughs> Beanie's doing a good job, then. Oh, bloody hell, Beanie's doing the best of jobs. Tell you, if you only worked as good as she did, <sighs> tell you what, we'd be doing well right now. <laughs> What are you trying to say? I, I do good. <laughs> you do good. You faff all the time. Honestly, you need to learn. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again. You need to learn to stop bloody faffing. 
How am I faffing? This is the third load of pigs we've taken today, George. Well, I know, but still, you bloody faffing. You can do better. Bloody hell. You're arse, you are. <laughs> arse, bloody hell, if I knew it wrong with me. Well, I still think you're a bit arse. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Bloody hell, fire. That's your generation for you. <laughs> anyway, head down to Slaughter House. Let's last load go. I'll, I'll tell Beanie when my back she can move the piglets over and we can start fighting them ones up. Alright, mate. No problem. No problem. Um, have you spoke to Keith? Ah, oh, he's alright. Keith is. He's not too bad. I mean, he, bloody hell, after his operation, he's rough as hell. Is he going to come home anytime soon? Uh, probably not, mate. No, no. In fact, you know, he's all right. Put it that way, but he, 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 he ain't doing, you know, he ain't doing too good. Or, yeah, just, uh, it was difficult what he went through. Put it that way. All right, then. As long as he's all right. I bet he wants to get back, though, doesn't he? Oh, bloody hell, he does, ah, huh? but he ain't already come home, no. He ain't no chance. He don't look well enough. He don't sound well enough every time I go up to see him. Honestly, he's always asleep. I, f I wake him up, feel bad for it. Do you? Oh, well, but he needs a rest, don't he? Yeah, true. True, mate. Well, I don't worry about Keith, he'll be alright. Keith's strong. Tough guy, Keith is. Oh, he's. he's uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't matter. What, what were you going to say? I don't matter. I don't matter. Alright, then. Hello? Hey, what's going on? Is he, is he bloody... is he there? Uh, he's just in the... in the cab, mate. I'm just dropping some pigs off at the slaughterhouse. Well, I'm going to tell him, right? I need to speak to him. Alright, calm down. Let me just get to the bloody tractor. Ah, bloody tell him, it's f***ed all. Well, I'm not telling him that. You'll have to tell him that. Alright, well, give me the bloody phone, then. Give him the phone. Alright, then. Calm down. Just two seconds. Hey, up. What? Well, are you ready? Ah, look, he's bloody Ross on the phone. Oh, bloody hell. Is he waiting? I don't know, he's not happy. Right, give it to you. Right, alright, mate. Alright, calm down, bloody calm down. Bloody hell, fire. What's wrong with you, Ross? Eh, you cheeky bugger. Hit into that bad. You're obviously not using your eyes, are you? You're not seeing its potential. It's got bloody potential. Just, just, just wait there and I'm coming to you now, right? We're on our way. We've got to do some jobs, mates. Trying to earn a li bloody living like you are. So lay off. Right, we'll be ten minutes, no more. We're driving to you now. Just take a chill pill. You know, look at the bloody sunshine or summer. Christ. Ah. Oh. Cheers. What's wrong with him? Bloody hell, what's wrong with him? He's a miserable bugger. He's stressed out, that's what's wrong with him. Why? Well, he's wants this bloody thing go to plan. I found him this place and he's up with it. I think it's bloody perfect. I'm telling you, Shrock, when you see it, you've got to see the potential of it. Think think of the idea I've got. Try and, you know, see the bigger picture. But anyway, there's two places, so if you don't like it, you can always go somewhere else, but I think I'd be making a mistake. I think this is spot on. Hey, <laughs> right, well... You don't sound happy. Ah, oh, well, he'll have bloody bump it, won't he? I've worked with the parish council, got these two places. He's, he's got permission to do it and everything. Bloody ungrateful bugger, that's what I say. <laughs> anyway, where are you going? Bloody hell. It's a shortcut, mate. Bloody shortcut? Don't give me off road in here. I've only got the right vehicle for that. <laughs> Where the bloody hell are you taking me, George? Well, I just keep going. Bloody hell, calm down. You'll be there in a minute. And nobody's got any bloody patience anymore, have they? Everyone bloody miserable. Christ. I am not miserable at all. I'm just, just wondering where we're going, that's all. Well, we're nearly there. Are you taking me to the pub? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, my God. What are you getting the pub for? Oh, well, we're not stopping for one, even though I would do. Right, turn here. Right then. 
Yeah, where do you want me to park? No, 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 carry on. All right, then. What, straight down there? Ah, uh, straight down there. Take your time. I don't want to go too fast. Uh, right, left, do you? Oh, look, he's there. Oh, dear, he doesn't look happy, does he? Where are we, George? Beyond the bloody pub. Where else do you think we are? You just drove here. <laughs> ah, pull up there, that'll do. Yeah, they got some junk round here, haven't they? Ah, no, ah. Bloody hell, about time. Been waiting here ages. Oh, chill out, Ross. Bloody hell, fire. Do you really like it? Do I like it? I, bloody, look at it. How the hell am I, bloody, gonna put things down? I mean, you've got bloody trees everywhere, holes everywhere. There's bloody grass in these mowing. You've got bushes going through, weeds. How, how am I gonna get some equipment down here for people to see? I, I, I just, I just, I just don't get it. I don't get where you want me to go. I mean, I, I, there's some of it. I've walked down there and it's bloody not even level. Bloody, bloody hell, Ross, calm down. You're like a jack in a box. Just breathe, buddy, breathe. I'm fine, I just don't get it. What am I actually supposed to bloody do here? Well, you got to see the potential of it, right? Think of this. Right by the pub. It's always a bonus. People can come by, stop for a drink. You know how farmers are around this area. They'll love to come out for a bloody beer on the side. You're doing it in the summer, so the sun, the sun will be bloody shining on us. I get that. It's not a bad idea. But look at it. It's not even... It's not even bloody level, George. I, I know that, but that's where we come in. We come in? I don't have bloody forking out money for this. It's going to cost me. No, it's in it. That's the bloody thing. Just just listen to me. Ah, uh, go on then. Right, well, I've spoke to a pub and they don't want a penny. The only thing they said is you can do it. They're up for it. They'll even put signs outside the pub for you. You can, you know, advertise happily. All they wanted from it in return was to sort this land out. So, you know... Mow it down, do a bit of gardening, you know, landscape work, and ah, oh, we'll make it spot on for job. What? So they're not going to bloody charge me anything? Not a bloody thing, and all the money you make, you know, by charging people to come and show up their equipment, it's all for you. And obviously you're going to be selling your own stuff too, that's a bonus. Well, I know, that's a bloody plan, obviously, my whole idea, that's why I bloody thought it. I'm going to start taking bloody credit for it now. I'm not taking credit for it, but I'm bloody taking credit for this. I found this, and I think it's got bloody cracking potential. Well, maybe, maybe then, I don't know, I need to think about it. Why don't we have a look around? Ah, go on then, let's have a look around. See, bloody calm down now. Right, follow me. What do you think, Scroff? Uh, I mean, it does need a bit of work, he's right. Ah, but think, nice place, coming in through that entrance there, behind the pub, you know... Bloody, I don't know what you want to call it, but let's say you call it Second Hand Brand New Day, right? Second Hand Brand New Day? What about bloody Scrap Day? Scrap Day? Everyone will think you're bloody selling junk. You want to make out you're selling things that are worth having. You know, Second Hand Brand New says that. Well, maybe, alright then. Second Hand Brand New Day. Right, Second Hand Brand New Day, just think of it. Come in, park, park it out front, pub gets a bit of business from it too. This ain't going to cost you anything. People can park round back here. We'll level out this the best we can, clean it all up, get rid of some junk and stuff, you know. I'll do a bit of landscaping. It should be alright. Don't I fall over there? Oh, bloody hell, I never saw that. <laughs> he is right, in at that level. Ah, uh, but we'll do something about that, you know. Or we'll just, I don't know, we'll just tell them not park there and park down side. We'll make it like... I don't know, but a few benches up here or something. You know, looking down on it. But there'll be enough space. I think it's good. I like it. I do. I, I, now that you've bloody told me, I, I, it, it's all right. I don't mind it. A lot of work, though. Ah, oh, but you've got plenty of time. and We can come and go whenever we want with this. And, you know, you're, you're not talking till summertime. Bloody hell, it's November now. Ah, that's true, it's true. Are you two going to bloody help? I'm up for helping, yeah. I don't mind. Well, we'll help, mate. The only thing I want to return is prime location. Prime location? What do you mean by that? Well, bloody hell, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping to get a bit out of this myself. What, money? No, not bloody money. Calm down, Ross. No, I want to sell a few things. There's a few items we want to sell. We were going to get a trailer, you see, but we didn't do it brand new. 
We're hoping to find a trailer second on brand new. And to be honest, we're looking at a tractor as well. So we'd like to have a look around and buy a few things. But also, I want to sell a few things. I'm thinking of selling a couple of tractors. Oh, ah, well, yeah, all right. Then I'll give you a brown location. You get picked where you want then, where you want set up. Oh, that'll do for me. I think that's bloody fair. All right, I think that's a fair deal. Right, well, I'll shake on it then. Do you not want to look at the other place? I know what you're bloody on about that other place. It's another farmer and it's going to cost me a fortune. I, I, I actually, I, I see, I, I never like to say it, but I'll say it. You've got this one right, George. And I'll take your advice. I think we set up here. Ah, well, there we go, bloody hell. Second hand brand new day. Ho, <laughs> ho, It's going to be bloody good, this is. Ah, uh, it should be good. Right, shake on it. Ah, uh, two seconds. Let me just get your money. Oh, ah, uh, bloody hell. I nearly forgot about that. For the uh, CD. You like it, then? I, I think it's awesome, Ross, just so you know. It's really good, mate. We've uh, planted all four fields with it, and it's worked a treat. Ah, uh, well, I do sell some good stuff. You know, it's in a bad... In a bad, you bloody overcharged me for that, I knew you have. I bloody didn't. You've had that for a good deal. See, it is on a bloody cheap, George. At least you finally got one. Saves all the money you're going to be forking out for bloody leasing them. Oh, that's true. Right, there you go. Nice for doing business with you, thanks for this. Oh, no worries, mate, no worries. I think it's going to be a good day. Should be good. I can see it now. Well, a lot of work to do, but we'll get through it. Ah, we'll get through it. Right, we're going to have to get off, mate. Nice one. Nah, no worries. See you later. See you, Scroft. See you, Ross. See you, mate. And cheer up, you bloody miserable bugger. Ah, bloody miserable bugger, you. <laughs> right, come on then, Scroft. Let's head home. Ah, we'll do, mate. We'll do. Bloody miserable, isn't he? <laughs> he's all right. He, I can tell he's, he's take you know, it's uh, it means a lot to him. I know it does, and I'm trying to bloody help him out. It's not like I'm doing him over. No, I know you've. It's actually a really good idea, George. You know, I think you've done well. Talk to the couple the about this, and obviously, parish council, you know, in the area, giving it a, the all clear. So, you know, pro probably put it in newsletter and so on. Well, I'll put it in newsletter definitely. More that come, the better it is for us, I think, because then. You know, we've got more options of things we can buy. And also, you know, we've got more options of people that want to buy from us. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Hopefully you can shift what you want to shift. What are you actually thinking of selling? Well, I was thinking putting these two masses on. Yeah. What if we sell but don't buy? I know, ah, that's my only bloody worry. I think we might do for a bit, but we'd have to get another one in, won't we? Probably, mate. I mean, yeah. Is, is that everything? Oh, no, I got a muck spreader, aren't I? Old muck spreader. You shift that. Might be a few other bits and bobs that we don't use often. You know, whatever, raise funds, but. Mate, if I raise the funds, I'm happy to get a decent tractor, that's what I think. Uh, well, I'd like to get one. Have you, have you had a look at anything? Well, I've been looking at a few. Do you know what I've done a lot, though? I don't know why every time I keep looking at second hand brand new tractors, bloody John Deere's keep popping up. It's because they're good, George. It's a good option. I'm telling you. I honour doing it. I'm not buying a John Deere. I always promised myself I'd never buy one. Well, if you're looking for more horsepower, usually you're going to point you in that direction, aren't you? Ah, well, well, there's others. Yeah, but you don't want men that much. If you want, like, a, a Massey with more horsepower, it costs more money. Well, I know. What I have found is fun to good. I can tell that, because of the price. You get more horsepower, you know, and it's not too bad on price. Oh, that's why we got this vent now, isn't it? Ah. Uh, New Orleans are really, but they're yeah, bloody expensive too. Seen a couple of fence. Also seen a Ford, but... I don't know. I don't think there's enough difference with the Ford. What, than what we got with this Massey? No, no. All right, and well... I, I, th I think we just buy what's right, mate. We don't rush. Ah, oh, no, no, we're not going bloody rush. We'll get what's what, eh? Exactly. What's the point in rushing? You know, and then we end up, yeah, we end up like getting something that's not actually been an upgrade. Well, I know, I know. Uh, well, we'll figure it out. We've got a few things. We'd have to go through it all, you know, when it gets close to it. We've got to first bloody figure out how we're going to sort that land out. I mean, it is bad, isn't it? I didn't really tell him the full amount, but a lot of work that is. 
So when you move all that down, get out them bushes. Somehow try to level it off, you know, so there's enough area for people to put their stuff. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it don't look pretty, mate. Well, uh, we'll do it. Though. We'll get there, you know. I see it like this. You might have fork out a bit of money. <laughs> I'll let you tell him that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I might be able on that day. <laughs> right, get cut one. I uh, will do. Who the bloody hell's that now ringing you? I don't know. Let me answer it and I'll let you know. Oh, bloody hell, I'll put Kettle on then. Hello? Hey up, mate, you alright? Hey up, Jerry. How's it going? Oh, yeah, good, good. Uh, have you heard about that storm that's coming? Yeah, storm necklace or something. Uh, bloody hell, you're on about storm, is he? Do you know it's going to be that bad? Then again, it might be, I don't know. Shut up, George. I'm on phone, mate. Oh, all right then, calm down. Anyway, I just thought, are you, are you free? What now? Uh, depends what you got. What you got on? Well, I've got uh, two fields left to see, and I thought you might be done. I think I noticed your fields look planted. But what are they going through already? Yeah, we've planted in ours. What you What you trying to get done? Two fields of barley, two closest ones. You know, we worked on them together last time. Uh, George, is there anything else you want me to do? Uh. You sorted cows, aren't you? Yeah, f yeah, they're all sorted, mate. Fed and everything. Well, you did the rolling. You, you seeded in, you know. We got it all ready. The only thing we need to do with that, really, is get some fur down. But that ain't going to be till probably early springtime. So do a bit of weeding beforehand, maybe. I don't know. But no, I'm all right if you are. Are you sure there's nothing left on farm? No, not as I can think of. Oh, well, go on then. Go help him out. Why not? Ah, I'm all right, Jerry. I'll head down, mate. You want me... Come now or tomorrow? No, come now. If you can do that, that'll be perfect. Well, we on half eleven. Yeah, we can get that done, can't we? All right, I might. I'll, I'll make a brew and I'll, I'll head down to you. All right, thanks, Scruff. Appreciate it. No worries, Jerry. See you later, mate. Yep. Oh, that's that then. Bloody hell. It's like you're a foreman for him. Well, no, more like a contract. He's paying me. Oh, right, what do you think I do? Pay me, but like you pay me like a salary, don't you? It's different. Bloody different. Oh, no, I don't mind, Jerry. Anyway, he's all right, Batman. Is he? he yeah, I don't mind you helping Batman out. <laughs> yeah, well, it's got to be done. Have you been down Keith's? Oh, I did. Yeah, I forgot to tell you as well. The the maze I started taking from it. Well, what for for the the cows? Is it looking all right? Do you know what? It looks bloody brilliant, George. It smells nice, and it's yeah, definitely good stuff. Might be something for the future. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't want to be working with maize. Bloody maize are pain. Absolute pain. Well, it's just an idea. Well, uh, well, bloody hell. I've, I don't have such complicated ideas. I've, I've ideas that don't cost me more money. <laughs> In fact, come up with ideas that saves me money. <laughs> right, then. Just an idea, mate. Ah, uh, well, keep them to yourself. These cows are right, though. Yeah, cows are fine, mate. Uh, you need to sort out what he wants to do, though, with that field, because... Just looks bad, mate. He's just left it, you know, after we harvested it. Oh, that corn, huh? Well, no one on the farm, isn't it? Selling it. Well, I know that still, but... Uh, he might want to do something. He might even buy it. Well, he hasn't decided on that yet. I'm sure he bloody will, though. All right, mate. I guess you'll be heading off, then. Yeah, I'll just make this brew and then I'm going. Well, all right. Well, if I don't want to see you, I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. No worries, mate. <laughs> Looks like it might be them two fields over there. We have done them before. Oh, bloody hell tight gate that is. Um, don't know where he's at. He might be inside. Let's park up and go find him. Should be a bit of extra cash for me. Never going to say no to that. Jerry? Hey up, mate. Hey up, you alright? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready whenever you are. Right, well, I'll let you do this. You don't need my help. No, no, I'll be fine, mate. Right, and well, Cedar's in the shed just behind here. Uh, what, that one there? No, no, look over here. 
Over there, it's in that. I filled it up with seeds. You just need to get up top. All right, mate. Uh, where's your tractor? Uh, well, there's three round there. If you want to, which one do you want to get in? I think you know the answer to that. Uh, Massey's there. You can get in that. Keys are in it. <laughs> All right, mate. I'll start. Is it two fields cross? Yeah, you'll see. It's the only two fields that we worked on that haven't been seeded in yet. Okay, mate. So just just checking. Barley's going in, yeah. I filled it up with cedar, so you'll be fine. All right, I'm pal. No worries. Okay, okay. Uh, I was going to ask you, because you mentioned about that storm. What do you think's going to happen with this? What, this storm Nicholas thing? I don't know. Well, they said it's going to be bad, a bit of wind, a bit of rain, but... I mean, not, I'm not expecting, like, catastrophic or anything. Just, you know, best be wary, innit? Try to do yourself a favour and, uh, you know... Do any prep work that can help you. Yeah, fair play. I mean, we've never had a storm here. We had a storm at the old place at, at Calms and it was, uh, yeah, he had a bit of flooding, to be honest, and one of his, uh, well, I call it, he ain't a friend or anything, but someone that George uh, knew anyway. Didn't, they didn't get on. You know what George like, but he had his house flooded, so it wasn't good. Oh, uh, well, I don't, I don't expect it to be, you know, I expect a bit of flooding in certain areas, but... More wind damage, I'd say, so yeah, you want to look out for that. All right, Jerry. Right, well, I'll get crack on, mate. I'll crack on and get it done. What are we on? Something past one. Yeah, one o'clock now. I'll get it done. Okay, well, when you're done, come find me. You can grab a beer. All right, mate, sounds good. All right. If you need me, let me know. Will do, mate. See you in a bit. All right. Massey says round here. Yeah, it sure is. He's got some good tractors, hasn't he? He really has. He's got, you know, with the fleet size of his, it's just much bigger. Ah, oh, bloody love this thing. It's a beast of a machine. Beast. <laughs> right, let's go get this seed in. He says it's in that shed. I don't think I've ever actually been in that shed before. I don't have to do much, just hook up to it. Which is ideal. I do love this tractor though. George could get one of these. Oh dear, I'd be happy about that. Beast machines. Must be must cost a fortune, this is. Well over 100,000. Easy. Even second hand. Be over 100,000. Right, let's just leave that there. It's only three meters. I think you know. I actually think that's an only a three meter cedar. Yeah, Mars is actually bigger than that. The four meter one. <laughs> the amount of fields he's got, I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be bigger seed than that. Ah, well, still does the job, doesn't it? Good to go. Let's go get this sorted. Get the radio on. Two fields to do. Now, they aren't the biggest fields, like, compared to George's big fields. He's got two that are probably bigger than that, but combined together, it's probably like the size of one of George's fields. So I expect this is going to be like, you know, three hours maybe. No more than that with this. Um, just trying to think. Short. Yeah, we'll go this way. Love this tractor, love it, man. It's a uh, perfect, perfect thing. This is a busy road. We've seen this before, so we have to be careful here. Right, so yeah, we've got two here, two fields. We'll start with yeah, we'll start with this one. May as well.
too bad actually straightforward enough both fields are planted in yeah I'm happy with that right sun is starting to go down though so good timing honestly this road this road is not nice I've got another car coming on to it's not nice <laughs> you might need a bit of a mirror there or something Safe. Let's go. I'll park this up and then I'll go find him. Looking forward to having that beer with him. I mean, one beer won't hurt, will it? Drive back on that. Um, I don't know what he wants me to do with this, so maybe I can just plonk it here for a second. That should be all right. He might want to clean it off. Oh, I love this Massey though. Tell you what, if we could have this Massey, <laughs> that'd be good. That really would. Not bad, not bad day that isn't. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. We should turn lights off though. Don't want the battery die out. Yeah, good day. I think every day is a good day if I'm in that Massey. <laughs> Don't know what George is going to end up with. I was th I made a suggestion to him having a, like an older JCB fast track. I know we've had one before, and that wasn't too bad. But maybe you can get a newer model than that. Maybe. Right, let's find him. He's got me inside. Hey, oh, wait, you're all done. I'm done, Jerry. Not too bad. Did that? I think I did that relatively, relatively quick. I missed the the sun going down anyway. Oh, you did well. You both fields. Yeah, both fields are done. I've parked it just on the other side of your wall. You know, just uh, near where that slurry pit is. You got. Oh, pretty obsolete at the moment. That is. Yeah. Do you think you'll ever get any animals? Uh, maybe, maybe. Well, I've seen, mate. Um, I mean, I want to at some point maybe get some beef cattle. I, I won't do dairy work, but. Might do a few beef cattle, you know. Well, it's funny you should say that. Keith's got quite a lot of them at the moment, and he might be selling them. Don't hold me to that, though, because he might not. I'm talking 
you know, I'm just, it, I can't talk for him, but with everything that's going on, he might, he might get rid of me, even if he buys the farm off his brother. Oh, well, I might do. I might be a bit early for me. I, you know, I haven't really decided to do him yet, but it's a plan eventually. But, well, if he is, you know, you may as well mention it, because I can have a chat with him at least, can't I? Yeah, exactly. Right, you up for a beer? Oh, mate, I'd love a beer. Okay, well, we may as well sit outside. It's nice enough. All right, and I'll wait out. Ah, uh, give me a sec. Oh, man. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea, would it, if he got... You know, if he got, uh... Yeah. Cows off, uh, Keith. He might want to keep the sheep, but he might need to get rid of the cows. Ah, oh, cheers. Thanks for that, mate. Oh, I enjoy it. You've earned it. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. Oh, what do you want for it? Oh, mate, you decide that. You normally pay me fair. I don't expect you pay me loads. You know, I think last time you, you paid me pay me a lot. Well, you did me a lot of work and I needed it. But well, I think this time I'll just pay you a bit more reasonable. Are you like, what, what's expected? Yeah, that's fine with me, mate. I appreciate it. Anyway, I enjoy doing the work. And you know what I think of that Massey? Every time you get off me the work and that, I'm going to jump at it. <laughs> oh, no. I know, uh... Have you heard about Ross as well? What he's uh, setting up with George? No, no. What's going on? Well, he's he's doing this second-hand brand new day, basically. I think George is titled of that for him. <laughs> oh, I've heard him say that a few times. Well, what do you mean by that, then? Well, it's like, um, you know, car boots? Ah, uh, car boots. Well, it's a bit like that, but for farmers, just bring their farm equipment in, sell off anything they want, and maybe pick up something from another farmer. Hey, that's not a bad idea, that is. Who had that idea? Ross did. It's, it's a cracking idea, that is. What, what, when's that? Probably summertime, I think. Oh, buddy, I'll, I'll, I'll be up there. I'm trying to sell a few things, I am. Oh, what are you selling? Oh, for starters, I want to get rid of that Valtra. The one down there? Ah. Uh, what horsepower is it? About 190. Well, maybe that's a bit. Yeah, I know George is looking for a tractor. He was thinking of selling two of his masses to try and buy a, a tractor that's about, you know, just over about over 200 horsepower, but nothing too crazy. we got the Fent that's our main workhorse. That's about 260, 270. But I think he's looking for a tractor that's, yeah, around 200. So it's close enough, but I think with the mass he's got now, at 160, I think he does want to jump over the 200 mark for a second tractor. Oh, uh, well, if you like that, I think first thing comes to mind is John Deere. Yeah, he doesn't want a John Deere, mate. He's never going to have a John Deere. It's just not what he does. <laughs> well, there's some good John Deere. Hey, uh, there's also uh, JCB, yeah, Fent. He's got Fent, yeah. I mean, McCormick might do something. I know, but is it too new? You know what George is like. You get him one of these modern tractors, he's never going to spend the money on it. He just don't like them. Well, I think it's more you don't like spending the money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're right there. Well, you never know. Well, I'm up for that thing anyway, and I'll bring some equipment, and you never know, George might find what he's after there. But no, that's a bloody cracking idea, are I'm up for that. <laughs> I think it is a good idea. Ross had a, yeah, Ross has had a blinder there, hasn't he? Oh, he has. Oh, fair boy, where's it at? Don't roll me to this because they've only just decided this, but behind the pub, there's like a, uh, just a piece of land. It's battered, to be honest. It needs a lot of work, but they're hoping to get it all sorted out, and then, yeah, that'll be where it is. Oh, well, not too far away, just up road. It's good done. Exactly. You want it kind of not too far away, with the amount of equipment coming. Then again, there might be some farmers from even further out. Well, I think there's always someone going to have to travel more, isn't it? It's the way it works. Yeah, true. True. Right, well, enjoy the beer, mate. I'm going to get back in. I've got a few things to do. All right, mate, no worries. I've nearly finished anyway. Right, well, when you're done, just head off, but thanks for that. I'll uh, I'll sort out payment for you. Yeah, I'll just give me give me a couple of days and I'll get it paid. No worries, mate. No rush. No rush at all. Right, thanks for that, mate. See you later, Mum. Yep. Ross has had a good idea there. Seems like everyone's on board. Anyway, I think that's it. Let's get done. Head off, I'll leave that there for him. I mean, could put it in the bin. Has he got one around? 
I've seen a couple knocking about. They might be at the front. I'll tell you what, I'll just put it by the front door. He'll see it. Ah, good day, though. Earned a bit of cash. George has earned a lot of cash. Got rid of them... Uh, pegs are gone for slaughter. More, but There'll be more that are getting fattened up. <laughs> been a good day, really. A good day for all. Just hope this storm doesn't turn out to be anything bad. I want another one of them storms like we did at Carmsen. Fingers crossed anyway. Anytime. 